Today we have the software here called Veras. It's an AI powered visualization for SketchUp, Revit and Rhinoceros. And let's test the software here today and see its capabilities, okay? So it's a simple software. You can use that on SketchUp, in Revit, in Rhinoceros, and you can uh, download for Windows app. And it's a kind of a affordable software. So when we see here, for example, we have this pricing here, standard is $49. And what are the capabilities of this software? So it's like a rendering processing software that will use AI to create ideas related to the geometry that you have. So for example, when we have Me Journey, here we have my Me Journey. So I'm creating a text and I'm generating images related to text. So you can see here drone shot of a modern ecological hotel designed by Bjarke Ingels, architectural sketch, people in bikes passing by natural colors. So it brings these ideas here. And nice, great, but I don't have really the control over the geometry. So this software here, the idea, and since we are seeing so many great evolutions related to AI, we're, I think we're going to see many ev evolutions related to this thing here. So we can bring just the geometry and bring different scenarios and ideas just related to the, the geometry. So, okay, you can uh, have a snowy environment. You can have more vegetation, less vegetation. And this is very interesting, right? So you can uh, AI, uh, AI text prompt-based image creation, generative design, bulk render execution, save selected images, auto-save all images to the pictures folder, turbo nature mode, so you can add more nature on that, and interior versus exterior, so you, you have a prompt for interior and exterior, creativity slider, so you can add more creativity to the style, uh, to, to the thing that you, you, you are creating. You have those two things here, creativity and style. I don't know if I can zoom that for you. You have a creativity and a style pattern. So you will have just a geometry. This we can see that is a SketchUp geometry and it will bring this uh, ideas here, okay? The same is going to be on Revit, right? You, you have these models on Revit. So I think it's a great way to not to have the final result, but to show these ideas for your clients and they can uh, understand the feel, right? Uh, of the overall ideas on, on what you are trying to do. So let's say you develop this, the first presentation on, on a schematic design and you can present this feeling, these ideas for your clients. And of course, on Rhinoceros, you can uh, use Grasshopper, have very creative ideas and enhance that uh, real time, right? So you can find many different interactions and bring these crazy ideas here that we are seeing on screen. So this is simple, right? So you just install that, you, you click here, install, very, it's a very simple process. And I have, as you can see, I have already installed that. So let's test this live, okay? So I will open my SketchUp file. And I have here a model of a project that we have developed. So you can see here the, the overall geometry of this project. And we are going to bring this in this Vera software. So let's see how it's going to be. Okay, so um, here, let me find, you will find this little V on part of your screen so you can click on that or you can go to extensions and you can go to evolve lab veras okay so just click on that and it will pop up the version right that we have here so i have made it i have done lots of tests on that and and in my trial version i just have five renders left so it's attached to your email, of course, maybe you, I could test using other emails, but I don't want to do that. And here I have, so the, the overall view of my project, and you can see that it's just capturing a part of this. It's like a square view. I don't like this square view, but we can so move back here in my SketchUp and I can just reset the thing. Let's add this to the entire screen and Reset, 
Okay, now I have all, I'm almost there to bring the overall building, right? So here we have the entire thing. And then I can change some things here to, to create my rendering. So creativity is strange, so you can bring lots of creativity on these ideas. You can increase the style, so you can just position this and it will explain how it's going to be. So what it's selling here, the amount, the image will be replaced by, by the algorithm. So low values almost don't change the image. And this is something that, that you will see. So if you put something below this on this blue, so you have this dark blue and this, uh, 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 you know, clear blue, you, you will see that is, it will almost will not change the, the geometry, it will be like a sketch, sketch up file yet, sketch up image. So I don't want to bring that. So I will just go to creativity into 76 or 70 is going to be better. Style. So the amount, the algorithm will respect the text prompt. So low values will visually uh, similar to Revit Ecstatic, while high numbers can have more um, photogra photographic quality. So you can bring more creativity, more style, and usually I like to bring that up as well. So we want to bring something with more style so it will be more uh, interesting. Then we have the width, but since I'm with the demo version, I can't change that. I tried to change, but I can't. And this exterior, no. Turbo nature, we want to add more nature to the picture. Maybe we could, since we don't have anything here related to nature. We could just add some trees and the software would, would understand that th these were trees. Atmospheric, so you can bring like a uh, cloudy environment. I don't want to bring that. And aerial view. And then you can add, for example, here. So let's say I want to make a architectural render of a modern building um, wood in the wood and transparent glazing in the main facade and realistic 4K, let's bring like a mid-journey prompt, right? So architectural render of a modern building, I want, don't want to, to bring too much. And let's, let's add some nature here. I would, I would, I would, uh, I would uh, remove that and I will add here on the prompt. So plants distributed in the render. I will just bring that because this is not the main thing. I, I always bring the main prompts at the beginning of the prompt. So in the main facade and here distributed in the, yeah. So I think this is kind of a good idea. Let's see the render. So let's click on that. Let's use the five prompts that I have. And it's kind of a very, you know, uh, very, fast so you can see how fast it is let's see the the quality of this image so you can see here i can just save this image let me see here save selected the image so when you start rendering you have other images here so you can just save that so various rendering one and let's see on my desktop this quality so here we can see the the quality of the rendering right it messed up with the, the idea. I think it messed it too much, right? It, it changed the, the geometry, changed the, um, you know, many, many things. And it's not taking into consideration many things. The entrance was another direction. It's kind of bringing an entrance here. So, you know, I, I don't think that this is a, a, good, pro, uh, a good idea, but okay, this is on, this is something that, it will be much better to have, I don't know, try to make 200 ideas of your project. So you could really go deep and try and, and bring more ideas related to things that you're already doing, right? So let's keep going. Let's re reduce the creativity. 
and the style. And let's bring the same prompt once again. Nature, it, it could it brought some nature. If I'm happy with the, the, the amount of plants that we got, but I think we could have a little more. I will put many plants here and let's render that again. So you can see how fast it is, right? In a few seconds, 10 seconds, we already have some ideas. So here we can see once again. So it's changed uh, the main property of the project. We can see that it created something different here. But I don't think the software is really, are really getting the, the idea of the, the project. So I don't see the rendering brought so many good ideas for the project. And I think I will move closer to see if the software can capture more the, the essence of the ideas here. And let's see. So too close. I will move a little bit just to capture the main geometry. Okay, this is enough. So let's make the rendering again. So creativity strength and style strength. So maybe we could reduce the the style right and let's do this again so i will add the prompt once again here and let's do this okay now we have some different ideas related to geometry it kind of bring uh, some good ideas here, but kind of messed up this, this part. Maybe the software didn't understand the geometry, right? But let's keep going. So I will try to make another just with a, a, an a aerial view. And let's see how it's going to be as well. Keeping the same creativity and strength, I think it's fine already. So let's see, I'm just, positioning the, the model here in the, in the best direction. Okay, almost there. I think this is a good position. And let's try to make the rendering again. And let's bring something atmospheric just for you to see how it's going to be. So here it is, kind of messed up properties. <laughs> it, did, it didn't understand too much. Let's move now for the last rendering that we have here. So we have one rendering left, just one, as you can see here. And I don't want to bring another email to test this. Maybe we could do in another video. So let's see how it's going to be on that video here, on that uh, image here. And I will bring as in cheer. I will remove the aerial view, of course, atmospheric, and let's uh, let's try to to bring that on the on the interior part. So let's back get here the the position. Okay, a little more. Maybe we could reduce that. Too much floor right on the view. Maybe I could just move up a little bit okay let's see how it's going to be this one here so i will re reduce a little bit the creativity and the style and let's make that again with my last rendering left okay it didn't change too much because i reduced too much the creativity and the style okay now we have zero i will just try here i think it will want a lot of course it will tell me to buy this Okay, yeah, so we need to purchase now. Guys, yeah, so this is Vera software. I think you understood the idea. You need to really test the prompts. You need to test the creativity styles. You need to really, uh, right, when you have the unlimited, so it's for uh, unlimited, I think, uh, unlimited views. So you can try many different options and really test which creativity uh, strength you want, the style that you want. So it's a ongoing process. But this is the software. I think it's a great promise. I, I don't think it's too intelligent by now, but I think it will be in the future. So this is it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. And we'll keep testing new softwares in the future. So just enter here in the channel, subscribe, press the like, and we are going to test many more AI softwares here in this channel. Thank you so much.